Good morning, wellness leaders. It's Kristen here, and I am doing a much needed recording to just talk about the very, very, very basics, essentials of closing an essential oil class. Commonly, this is gonna be one of the most um, uncomfortable parts of teaching a class if you are new to leading other people in wellness. It was really uncomfortable for me. It was uncomfortable for a lot of leaders. And so it doesn't have to be uncomfortable for you, but I wanted to prepare this recording as a way for you to listen to how I do it. And I will tell you that it is really important if you identify a specific script and really practice it, when you get to class time, it's gonna be a lot easier for you and your heart to come out. And also it will be a lot easier for you to connect and really um, hear well, listen well, identify the needs of your classroom or your one-on-one -on -one to do it in a way that's more comfortable for other people. So I'm telling you that practicing this is like actually really essential and it will, be, it will serve you so well if you take time to practice this. So a couple tips before I actually do what I, or like my close, how I close a class, I wanted to I, or well, say a few specific things. The first thing is, the last like five minutes of the class when you're closing isn't actually the only time you're closing. You want to be closing throughout the class, meaning when you speak during the class, you wanna be really confident in what you're teaching. Not that you have to know all the answers, but you want to have specific things about oils that you know well that you can share with confidence and um, really just like practicing the things that you talk about is really important again you really don't have to know all the answers but it is really important to speak with confidence when you are talking and that will come with time it will grow incrementally the sooner you teach the sooner you're gonna like just experience experience like how amazing the energy is in a classroom i used to be so scared and guys it's like my favorite thing now and i was just talking with somebody else that said exactly the same thing so the thing that you want to remember throughout the class is that when you say things you want to be assumptive that they came here for a reason people don't come to essential oil classes unless they are interested in essential oils and in trying them for their families like they don't come thinking like oh i don't really care about essential oils like i don't want to learn about them they're not going to come to your class if they don't want to learn so the assumptive throughout the entire class should be that they want to buy some they want to try them they want to use them on their family they want to learn about natural tools so when you say things like um, digest and blah 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 you're speaking about the benefits um, you can always throw things in your class where you're saying so like when you go home and try this like I want you to even like picture this your kid or yourself has a tummy ache can you see yourself grabbing digest and the oil with a little coconut oil massaging it on the stomach or taking some internally for digestive issues I'll say that in one-on-ones and I like have them respond to me in a class. It would be more of like a rhetorical question, but in the whole class, you want to be assumptive that they came here for a reason and they really do want to learn about oils so they can try them with their families. Um, and then um, the second thing is you don't want to be a fire hose. You don't want to try to teach them every single thing you know about oils. It's really important to identify the needs and what people want to learn um, that are the, the people that are specifically at the class, you want to learn how to identify what they want to learn. I do this midway through the class when I start talking about specific oils. I'll say, so I could talk about oils for literally like two or three days, guys. Like, I just love them so much. But I want to know, like, what do you guys want to learn about? What are specific health problems that you deal with in your family? Or maybe you want to learn about using essential oils to cut toxins out of your home. Or you want to learn about them for emotional therapy. Um, emotional aromatherapy. Um, tell me what you guys want to learn. And then I just stop. And if nobody answers, I say, hey, how about we start on this side of the room? We'll just go in a circle. Everybody can share one thing. And then I literally write it down during the class. And that's really helpful so I can speak to what they want to learn about. The second thing is um, you need to do a little bit of work in preparation ahead of time to really understand the different kits from doTERRA. And you want to make sure you understand what a wholesale customer or somebody with a wholesale account is going to get 
with that. So take time. This is the, the natural solutions handout from doTERRA and study up these um, kits. So if somebody doesn't know what they want to get, you're going to be able to help them identify what kits will be the best options for their families. And you can only do that if you really know what's in each kit. Um, and then the last thing is, I already kind of touched on this, but you want to build trust um, specifically based on what issues they're dealing with. So that you do this by asking people what they want to learn about. And then when you get done with your clothes at the end of the class, then you go and follow up with each individual and you say, I know you had talked about using oils for your kiddos. Um, as a replacement for medication and so what then you can take it further you can ask them so like what things do your kids deal with the most and you can really build trust by hearing what they want what their felt need is um, and then the last tip I'll give before I actually go into my clothes is that it is helpful a lot of times to have a small gift to give people when they decide to enroll with a kit and so this can be super simple. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Um, some great options are when you buy the class in a box from doTERRA, it comes with the living magazine. And the living magazine is a great gift to give someone along with there's a little wild, there's like 10 or 12 wild oranges that come in a class in a box from doTERRA. And so you can give those to new enrollments or you can just take clear, clear baggies and add like one roller bottle and then the toothpaste samples and the deep blue rub samples. doTERRA has a lot of samples of their um, hygiene products so you can add a sample of shampoo and conditioner or breathe drops and on guard drops. I always give this as a gift to my new enrollments and so you can have those literally ready sitting out for people to see so if they decide to get a kit they get to take that with them right away and you tell them that during the close. So it's a great thing that just like gets them excited because they actually will be able to walk home with something that day while their oils are being shipped to them. So I'm gonna go through my clothes and what I'll tell you is the very most important part about my whole clothes is what happens after the close when I interact with people on an individual basis. But um, I'll go ahead and walk you guys through it. So I'll, after I've gone through all of the different topics that people wanted to learn about, and I've talked about specific oils, I've talked about On Guard and Deep Blue and um, Past Tense and Serenity, like I've talked about all these, I usually focus during my class on talking about things that are in this Natural Solutions Kit and it's all dictated on the stuff that they wanted to learn about. So after I get done with that, I'll say, so we're gonna start wrapping up the class here, and I wanted to make sure that I covered how you can get these amazing tools in your home. So if you wanna go ahead and you can just flip with me to page seven of the handout that you have, there are three main ways to purchase doTERRA. You'll notice that I'm slowing down because I really want them tracking with me. So I say, like, just show me your sheet. Okay, awesome, you guys got it. Um, so if you notice on this sheet, there are two different price columns. There's one that says retail, and there's one that says wholesale in bold. So the first way that anyone can buy doTERRA is, in my opinion, kind of stupid. Like, I don't know why anybody would ever buy oils this way. But I mean, if you don't like discounts and you don't like free stuff, I mean, this would be the way for you to go. <laughs> but I'm not gonna recommend it. Um, so I make it a joke. Um, and I say the, that first way is you can buy doTERRA at retail price. So the retail price is about 25% higher than the wholesale price. You can see that here. So the second way you can get doTERRA is by getting a membership. And the memberships are really sweet. They're literally like Costco or Sam's Club. It's awesome. So I'm almost like reading what the handout says. And I'm holding this handout and I'm pointing the whole time. Um, so the, the membership's just like Costco or Sam's. You don't have to do the business. There's no requirements, like no strings attached. You don't have to buy a certain amount every month to maintain your business. Like it is literally like Costco or Sam's. You decide when you want to buy stuff with your discount. 
So to get a membership with doTERRA, you pay $35 and then for the year, you will get 25% off. And then you also get special access to our members only Facebook group. And we have like a lot of members only perks on our, like our team's website. We have a members only section with all sorts of amazing resources, eBooks, live videos on the Facebook group. You can literally ask questions and get answers within like a couple hours on specific needs that you have for your family. And of course, I'm gonna be helping you the entire way. So once you get your oils and they come in, we'll meet up and I'll help make sure you have a plan to use those oils for your family. And also I'll go over how you can use your account in the future when you wanna buy more things with your discount. So the third way is actually the most popular way um, that people get started with doTERRA because they have, as you can see on this sheet, they have different starter kits and these starter kits are awesome because it's basically like your money is all going towards the product and then you don't have to pay the $35 fee. It's waived. And then as you'll notice, like for instance, this natural solutions kit, you see these purple circles. It, you actually save an additional $228 just by buying this starter kit. And that's in addition to the wholesale membership. So you're getting it cheaper than like anybody else can get it. Um, so I'm just going to briefly go over the most commonly, um, bought kits, like what people like the most. And then after this, I'll just walk around and I'll talk with you each individually. You can share with me more on specifically what you're wanting to get. And I can help you navigate the kits and figure out which is the best fit for you. Um, so I'll just briefly go over these. So the most commonly sold kits, number one, the natural solutions kit is amazing. Um, it's honestly the kit that I wish I would have gotten when I first started. It comes with a shampoo and conditioner, um, wound ointment, fractionated coconut oil, a diffuser, the number one sold products that we talked about, the lifelong vitality pack, the toothpaste, the hand wash, the hand sanitizer, and then all the most commonly used oils that we primarily talked about in today's class. And when you get this kit, um, it's just an amazing deal. Obviously $228 off. So this would be like a great kit for somebody that's just like ready to make over the stuff in your home. You really wanna get non-toxic living going. Um, it's a great, great value. The second most commonly sold kit is the Home Essentials Kit. And the cool thing is this month, there's actually a promo for the Home Essentials Kit or the Natural Solutions Kit, any of these bigger kits, you actually blah, blah, blah. And I'll tell them about the promotion doTERRA has for the month. Um, with the Home Essentials Kit, you get the top 10 most used oils and you also get a diffuser, which is like critical when you're using oils, you wanna have a diffuser. Um, and this kit all comes with the big size bottles from doTERRA. And you see here, you save $86.25. This is the kit that I started with when I first joined doTERRA. And then one other kit that is also the most commonly sold kit, I, the Family Essentials Kit, I don't love. It comes with small bottles and it doesn't have a diffuser. So I really don't recommend that one. But there is another really budget-friendly one if you're looking for that. And it's called the Aroma Touch Diffuse Kit. And when I come around, I can show you the details on that if you're most interested in that one. It's $150 for the Aroma Touch Diffuse. And this one does come with a diffuser and then eight of the most commonly used oils. They're just all in the smaller size bottle. And it doesn't have frankincense, so that's kind of like one of the downsides. But I always tell people, you can add it later if it's one of the ones that you really wanted. Um, but anyways, those are the most common. So thank you guys so much for coming. Make sure you fill out your giveaway forms. You write down your name, your contact info, and then it like has boxes based on what you're most interested in. If you wanna learn about how to do what I do, you can check that box. If you wanna host your own class for your friends, you can check that box. If you wanna stay up to date with more classes that I have coming up, check that box. And if you're interested in the wholesale account, obviously check that box. And we're gonna go ahead and raffle a roller bottle and then I'll come around and I'll talk with you each individually. So thanks so much for coming. So anyways, you see how I do it. Um, one thing I did leave out, shoot. Before I go into the giveaway form, Normally I'll say, so depending on which kit you want, you can go ahead and start filling this out, specifically the highlighted areas, the green color. Um, and then 
I'll come and talk to you if you need help or have questions on which kit you want. But um, this is where you would check what you want. You can skip this step for now. And then down here is where you put your card info. I shred these afterwards and keep them super safe. So that is what I say right after I go through the kits and before I talk about the giveaway form. So then the most important part of the class is what happens after this. Because if you choose to not go talk to people individually, and if you choose not to ask them, which kid are you most interested in? Like they will read your levels of confidence. And if you don't ask that question, the subconscious like message that you're sending is that you don't really believe that they need them. You really aren't confident that they'll help them. You're just, you're sending that message that they don't need essential oils in their life. And I promise you, it's a, like, it can be scary to ask that, those questions, but every time I've asked, it's been received really well. And like, for example, I just asked my friend the other day what, like, what she was planning to get. And she's like, I really want the one with like the bigger bottles and the diffuser. And I was like, oh, the home essentials kit. And she's like, yes, but I, I just like, I don't think we can budget it right now. And I want it so bad, but I just, I'm like trying to get a full-time job and we're almost there. As soon as I have that, I know I'm going to get them then. And what am I going to respond to her? Like, no, you're crazy. La la la. No, I was like, oh, totally girl. I understand. Not a big deal. That's awesome. The home essentials kit is really great. I know you guys are going to love it. Um, and obviously we'll be in touch. We're going to see each other at the parenting class. Um, do you want me to keep you in touch with other classes that I have coming up? And she's like, oh yes, totally. I want to come to more classes and learn more. And then, like I said, hopefully really soon I get a job from one of the ones I've been applying to, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, if I wouldn't have asked the question, it just stays really awkward because she's like, I know Kristen wants me to buy oils, but I can't buy them because of finances, blah, blah, blah. And there's that subconscious what's not being said problem. Whereas when she, when I made it safe for her to tell me that, and I asked her that question, she got to tell me it. And then I got to respond with love. And still, I made an action plan. I'm going to invite her to more classes. And I'm going to keep essential oils on the front of her mind. She had only heard about them from the one class that I taught. So she just needs to learn more and experience more. So I have a plan. So anyways, this was longer than I planned. I hope it's really helpful. Um, you can obviously post questions on our Wellness Leaders Facebook group because my way is not the only way to close a class. This is just the way that I found to work best for my personality. So I hope this helps you guys a ton. And we'll see you soon.